What's going on YouTube? This is 3 Inferno. So here to talk to you today about the water deck. Um, the water deck is a really powerful deck. Um, it has a lot of ways to control the game. Um, it can control you by the by the hand. It can control you um, by their field. There's a powerful over assuming field. Now, what are the best cards to run against um, that deck? So first, Thunder Kings. I keep stressing this, and I can't stress it enough. Thunder King is just really, really good. Um, it's good against the deck because it can stop um, searches for Undyne. Um, it can search, stop searches for um, Spike and Dragoon. It can even negate the effect of adding a Visphere with um, Megalo. All right, Thunder King is just really good, and. Um, it can negate the summon of Moon Glacia or Diva plays negate the summon. All right, so that's pretty useful to me. Um, other cards that are really useful right now, um, but especially against water decks, Mind Crush. Mind Crush is such an amazing card. Um, they have to reveal Abyss Megalo. You Mind Crush it. They have Genix Undyne. Or they have Spike add cards in their hand. Dragoon add cards in their hand. Um, just cards. Just keep constantly getting added to their hand, and they salvage, um, or they try to make a play like with heavy infantry, and then you're like, oh, that the diva play, uh, mind control, mind crush, diva. All right, just there's a lot of ways to read that deck, and I feel like you know that's the best thing to do. Um, or they search Megalo with uh, Dragoon or whatever. Okay, mind crush is just really good against that deck. Um, Another card, if you can run it, Defissured Macro, of course. Um, those are good cards in the sense that they can't get their effects off because they have to hit the graveyard. So Defissured Macro, Macro Cosmos are always good cards um, for the water matchup. Uh, other cards that are good for the water matchup, Soul Drain and Abyss Dweller. Um, Soul Drain is just really powerful in the fact that their effects will not activate. But you have to watch out. You have to activate Soul Drain um, before... They, their graveyard effects activate. You cannot chain to the activation of the effect. I mean, you can, but it won't do what you want it to do. For example, they go Genix Undyne, pitch um, Dragoon into the graveyard as a cost. Do you have a response? No response. Add controller to the hand. Okay, resolved. Dragoon's effect activates. You chain Soul Drain. You have missed... Soul Drain will not negate... Um, Dragoon, because Dragoon has already activated its effect. Soul Drain and Abyss Dweller both state they negate the activation of the effect, but not the effect itself. So therefore, you have to activate Soul Drain when Genix Undyne ditches the card to the graveyard as a cost. Then you chain Soul Drain or chain the effect of Abyss Dweller, then they will not search. Okay, That is how you have to chain it. Um, because it negates the activation, does not negate the effect. Um... The water deck has a lot of big monsters, so I think Bottomless is really useful against them. Uh, I was talking to some people, and I have one Bottomless, one Compulse, two Phoenix Chain mained, and I was just like, um, what's better, Bottomless, Compulse, or Phoenix Chain? I was like, um, no, it's not Compulse. It's like, Bottomless or Phoenix Chain better? And like, Bottomless. So if I was siding, I would keep, I would put in two Bottomless, and one Compulse, and one Phoenix Chain, something like that, because Bottomless is just really good against that deck. It gets rid of all the beaters, like... Um, Megalo, I mean, Moonglaze just still hits for two cards, but at least you bottomless it. Um, you can bottomless the Lind that comes out from Abyss Sphere, so that's really useful. Now, a water deck has a pretty staple side deck. Um, what do they side against? Well, they don't want you removing their stuff, so obviously they're going to side Imperial Iron Wall. Um, they're also going to side things against Windups or whatever other deck, like Gozen Match. Um, they'll make water deck, water all day. And just goes and match you. So a good counter side would be something like Fairy Wind. Fairy Wind is really good. Um, it gets rid of all the traps that they would side in, like Imperial Iron Wall, goes and match. But it also gets rid of a Abyss Sphere. Let's say you have um. <coughs> let's say you have um. You're trying to go off, and then they go goes and match. You're like fuck, and then they go um main phase end of main phase two. Your main phase two, Abyss Sphere. You go Fairy Wind. You pop both their cards. They can't go as a match. 
and your favorite one's good to kill. It's better than MST in the fact that MST can only destroy one. Uh, fairy wind can destroy multiples. Um, plus that it does burn damage, so it, that might even be enough for game sometimes. Uh, I did it once before. I burned someone for game with fairy wind. He had nine hundred, and he, I had a defigure up, and he had a or uh, something like a fiendish chain up, and he flipped goes and match or rivalry or something like that, and I just activated fairy wind, and he lost. Um, so that's really useful too. Uh, other side deck cards against um, water. You know, there's a lot of choices right now, and it's hard to differentiate between the decks. Like, oh, I'm running dragons. What should I side? I'm running agents. What should I side? Um, so honestly, uh, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, I still think the soul drain, the the dweller, and all that stuff is thunder king, d fissure macro. Um, is really useful. So let me know what you guys think about side decking for the water matchup. All right, thanks guys. Through the Inferno, signing out.